Hey everyone, so if you can't tell, this is my project for awesome video. And today's a special video because I'm joined by my special guest. My dog Moose here. Whoa, 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 put me down, put me down. Say hello, Moose. Oh uh, man, I can't believe you woke me up for this. I better get a lot of petting and treats. Chicken flavored treats. Alright, Moose is a special dog because he was born without tear ducts, which means he can't cry or produce tears and his eyes are constantly in pain. Yeah, I tell you what hurts my eyes. Looking at you, fool. So me and Moose are going to tell you about St. Francis service dogs. And basically what they do is train service dogs. If you don't know what a service dog is, it's a little different than a seeing eye dog or a guide dog for blind people. It's a dog that's trained to do over a hundred different tasks for a physically disabled person. And these kind of tasks can range from opening doors to turning on light switches, getting things for the fridge, or even going for help if you're in trouble. And it's a lot more than just about convenience because the owners of these dogs form a real emotional attachment and improves their self-esteem, their self-confidence, it lowers their medical bills, and just improves the quality of life in general. Every second I spend on your lap is lowering my self-esteem. So what you might not know about service dogs is that it can take $20,000, tons of coordination with the trainers, and up to two years to train a single dog. Feels like I've been sitting here for two years. Where are my chicken treats? What's really cool about St. Francis is that they give the dogs away free of charge to their new owners. And unfortunately, they're only able to train about seven to ten dogs per year. But the good news is that they've started a $3 million capital campaign to build a new kennel where they'll be able to train 25 dogs a year, like tripling their productivity. And they've already started it. I was at the groundbreaking earlier this year. If you'd like to donate or hear any of the stories or hear about the graduations, it is really something special when someone gets one of these dogs. It's like hard not to tear up. Well, unless you're like my dog Moose here. Oh my, I am going to come up there and kick your ass. If you'd like to learn anything more about the organization, I've included links to their webpage, their Facebook page, and their Facebook calls page, which I'm an administrator of, in the sidebar. And please check that out and donate. And you guys have a Merry Christmas. Thanks for donating. Now where are my chicken treats?